Okay, guys. Good morning. Good we are morning. going to we are going to check quickly with Danny uh, the procedure to crimp the cables, the procedure to install the terminals, some tips, some recommendation about the terminals, the different type of terminal, residential terminals, uh, marine terminals, uh, the procedure to uh, crimp it, the terminal, uh, uh, install the heat, uh, the heat screen. Uh, this is very very important. Uh, my friend, in marine applications, you know those uh, those ends uh, that uh, in residential and industrial they use to put together the cables. <laughs> this is not allowed in marine oh. in marine <laughs> application. Okay. Caps. <laughs> this is uh, if this is considered a uh, wrong job. No, be careful with that. Uh, especially if uh, in any moment an inspector enter in your boat and open the panel and uh, check those terminals, your boat is finished. <laughs> <laughs> be, be careful with that. This is a uh, residential. This is not good uh, for different reasons. Why? The number one is because uh, the marine cables, the marine cables, uh, are not solid. You know, the marine cables are stranded. Yeah, the marine grade cables, each filament is covered with silver plate. The, there are cables similar to this one, industrial, but uh, each each element, each filament, is a pure copper. If the humidity enter, immediately produce um, produce copper oxide and uh, and isolate the terminals. Yeah, be careful with that. And yet, be, be, before <coughs> I continue, I, I say something. <coughs> Any metal oxide later. We are going to, to study in corrosion that topic with more details. But uh, when any metal is oxidized, because the oxygen attacks the metal, it produces a powder over the metal. This is oxide of copper, oxide of aluminum, oxide of, yeah? It's the powder that you found it in the morning. If you let a piece of iron outside, tomorrow you check and you, you found it brown powder, no? This is oxide of iron, iron oxide. The same with aluminum, the same with copper. The problem is this. The metal by itself, all the metals are excellent conductors. Perfect conductors of electricity. One better than other one, but all of them are conductors. When the metal is covered with oxide, the oxide, the combination of oxygen and the metal, that powder is a perfect isolator. The best isolator is the oxide of metals. With the oxide of metal of metals and glue are created the ceramics. Okay. Ceramics is the combination of oxide of metals plus glue, any glue, resin normally. The dishes that you have to prepare food is oxide of aluminum. Yeah. Wow, no? Oxide of zinc, oxide of copper, those are perfect isolators. That's incredible, no? The metal by itself, perfect conductor. Immediately. The, ox the oxygen attack the metal, it produces an oxide, and the oxide is a perfect isolator. For that reason, <coughs> in the pores of the battery, you have lead, and you have copper in the terminal, no? And, uh, and uh, oxides are produced. Oxide of copper, green color, you remember? Mm -hmm. And oxide of lead, uh, silver color. Both oxides together create a perfect isolator. In some cases, you see the terminal mm -hmm. on the pores, but you don't have power, nothing, no voltage. Ah, it's because the powder in between both metals isolate both of them. For that reason, periodically, Spray. periodically, you need clean the terminal of the battery with the wire brush and clean the, the terminal of the cable with the, what is the recommendation? Water and baking soda, baking soda. Produce bubbles and clean, remove all the corrosion. That's okay? The enemy, of those terminals that uh, today we are going to talk with Danny, is the, the moisture. The moisture isolates the terminals, the moisture produces oxides, and uh, the oxides are perfect isolators. Don't forget, the oxides of the metals are perfect isolators, and the metals are perfect conductors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that powder around the metal is an isolator. Okay, this is an introduction only to explain uh, the different type of, uh, of uh, wires. All the marine wires, all the marine wires are coming in rolls, and uh, they say marine grade, 
in the label. Uh, this uh, brand is excellent. Uh, this company, this uh, distrib distributor, Pacer, Pacer Marine, Pacer Marine. If you enter in the in the website of Pacer, Pacer.com, and you register, create create an, a, a company. If you have a company, you can you can register the company over there, and after that you have twenty percent of discount. If you mention that you are Broward College student, you have ten percent of discount in Pacer. In Pacer, you will find all the cables, breakers, terminals, ice, everything, uh, panels, all the electrical stuff that you need uh, to work in the marine industry. Right? Breaker, fuses, cables, marine grade. All, all, all of them marine grade. Panels, AC panels, DC panels, switch selectors, uh, battery switch selectors, everything. With great, great price. What's the name, sorry? Pacer Marine. Pacer, Pacer Group. Check in internet, pacergroup.com or pacermarine.com right now if you want it, on your cell phone. You see the company? Uh, you, you bought terminals over there in Pacer? Oh, I buy a lot of stuff. A lot, no? It's, it's the best. For me, it's the best. Yeah? yeah? You have the, the website. Uh, it's, it's here. And they're reasonable. They're actually pretty reasonable on the prices. It's www.pacergroup.com. Dot net. Pacer group dot net. Uh, okay. All right. All right. My my friends, we are going to check the difference between between uh, terminals, terminals, any type of terminals, with a heated ring incorporated. You see. And this one, no. This one, the ends are open. You see the plastic, the end is up, and the plastic is rigid. If you apply heat, it's not deformated. It's not thermoplastic, it's rigid. You see, it's rigid. This one is thermoplastic. You can deformate that one, and the plastic cover, cover the area. No, this is wonderful. This is marine, and the end, the end is closed. This one, non-marine, the end is not closed. You see? My friend, those, those terminals are Home Depot terminals for residential applica application for, no? And this one is marine grade terminal. And the, and the metal is covered, is protected for corrosion. This one is, is galvanized. Galvanized is covered with zinc, no? It's like a, if you go to the, to the, today it's a good sun, good day, and you cover your body with sugar to protect your body. You, you don't protect your body with sugar. This is protected with sugar. No, this is a marine grade, all right? Don't forget this one. In some cases, you can buy those terminals, pure metal, bare metal, and you have the heat stream separated, separated, and you, no, in some cases, those 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 terminals, non-marine grade, this uh, plastic is a rigid plastic. That's not good. When you crimp it, expand and a lot of humidity enters over there. This is a wrong connection. For example, for example, you install bilge pumps. Where is located the bilge pump? In the bilge. Oh, in the bilge. In the middle of the middle in the bottom. And uh, normally that area. Water is moving, no? Water is coming over there. What happens if you crimp the cables with this type of terminal? What happens? Yeah. Those cables in two months are isolated. The bilge pump is not working. No, it's connected, but it's isolated. The humidity enters. Those specific, in the bilge pump, and Danny and me, we use heat stream terminals, and additionally, other heat stream over there, double, because it's submerged in the water. You have no business using nothing but heat shrink. You should not use anything. Now let's just say this. Hey, this this is no this is not available right now. You can use the automotive one. I call that consider a household automotive. But then you're gonna need. Uh, and you cover with heat shrink. Then you heat shrink it with that. Which I'll do one now. I'll yeah, you can. But you need cover. You need buy a set of uh, 
uh, pieces, longer pieces of heat stream in different different diameters. Yeah, in pacer, in pacer each one, each one is two dollars, and you cut it pieces. Okay, guys, it is not expensive and the the, the finer. And you found that this one in colors, white color, green, red, yellow. Ah, because I am going to extend my, my yellow cable. I extend the cable with heat string yellow and yellow. And the cable continue yellow. You organize it professional. That's okay, my friend. Mm -hmm. And the labels. Uh, in a Pacer Marine, you found that labels in letters, in numbers, to label the cable at the beginning. Normally, if I pass a long cable, I label, I, I mark the cable in different sections. Because in the future, for example, you have a bundle of cables in the saloon. And what is the what is the wire of the bilge pump in that? Oh, let me move it. Oh, that one bilge pump. One of the cable is marked. Oh, the other one is air conditioner. Ah, the oil, oh yeah, those mark the cables. Normally, each two feet, one label. Each two feet, one label. In the future, it's nice. It's easy to identify those cables. When you have one million of wires. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know. What do okay. You, what do you use to label your wires? Oh, uh, they have in spacer different uh, uh, different markers, different uh, different possibilities to mark the cables. Is there anything you don't suggest? Like, yeah, I've got like a normal like brother label. Uh -huh. I mean, I've used those before, but they tend to like come off. Every yeah. Time. Yeah. yeah. Depends. Depends in what area you yeah. want to use. You see that. Yeah, this is the idea. Do you ever use the like the butt connectors and stuff that have solder in them so this already? This. Okay, let me explain. You know what I'm talking about? This is a great question. Soldering, soldering, soldering the end of the cables. Pay attention. In some cases, it's good idea soldering the end of the cable with silver, and after that introduce the 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 feeding, cream fed the feeding and heat and uh, heat string. This is a good idea, especially in electronics. In the course of electronics, we are going to practice here soldering. Yeah. One day on the excuse Well, have you ever seen, like they have like butt connectors and terminal connectors and stuff that have solder. They like, have incorporated, you and and correct, have solder it, it, correct. Do you, ever, do you yeah. use those? Do you uh, but those this or? is not common in Marine. No? No, no it's okay. not common, but uh, I remember the, the Yeah, the, I've, used, I've used them in small, the advertisement like RZ, about RZ that. stuff. And, but yeah. I never seen in Marine, but you can use that one because it's properly Yeah, they, I mean, they're heat, heat shrinking. And loose yeah. nice. Yeah. But uh, soldering the ends will be very, 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 very highly important in electronics. Because in electronics, the enemy of any electronic device that you install is the moisture. When you solder it, and additionally, you crimp it, and additionally, you cover it with heat stream, the humidity never enters over there, okay? Uh, you have a, the captain say, oh, my radar, in some moments, the screen have lines, lines moving. This is corrosion, this is bad graph, that's it. It's not a problem with the radar, it's not a problem with the screen, it's corrosion, okay? That's <coughs> critical, especially all of yours, Captain. In some cases, you have the screen with the interference, that's humidity, that's humidity. Okay, le, le, in, the, in the course of electronics, we are going to practice with the soldering gun. What do you think about the label? No, no, in marine application, but... For <coughs> Yeah, for emergency is good. But the, the heat is good. <coughs> Correct. <coughs> the, the, heat, the, the electrical tape, the electrical tape and the liquid tape, sooner or later is... Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's the problem. Okay. That's the problem. Especially, for example, no, I, I, I want to use electrical tape and that cable, in some cases, touch the water on the bills. Oh, no. Immediately, the electrical yeah. tape is up. That's a Mickey Mouse job. Correct, and, it's, and, uh, and the glue is over there, yeah. and uh, uh, no, I don't like that. Remember, my friend, you will be working in mega yachts, mega ultra elegant yachts. You need to be professional. You need to be like a doctor, clean. clean. You know when you enter in an engine room, and the engine room is like a hospital, it's nice, no? Everything is clean, no water you open mega the hatch. No, yeah, mega yachts, not mine. No, but, but, but you can keep your small yard in good condition. Yeah. Clean, professional, no? <laughs> My friend, other thing is like Danny mentioned at the beginning. 
uh, is the tool. Those tools are no good, no good to crimp it and no good to cut it the wires. Okay? This, those are for other purposes. Yes, yeah, you can use that one in other purposes. To cut it, the wires, this is the, the, the tool to cut it the wire. Look, this is the tool to cut it the wire. That's okay? That one, in this section. And to remove the plastic is here. Is here, it's clean. That one, that's okay? Ah, for big cables, for battery cables, I have another cutter wire. Not with this. With this, you deformate this, you deformate this, and this is a Mickey Mouse, and finally you cut it like this. No, with this you cut it professional, professional. And look at this. And with this one also, you strip it. With this one also, you cut it carefully, only, 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 only the plastic. And right now, it's easy, twisted. You introduced the heat stream before. Shrink is. Look, you introduced the heat stream before. You pass the cable, you verify that the metal, the metal of the cable is not exposed in between the terminal and, and the plastic. It's not exposed. And right now, you can crimp it. Dr. Danny. So we already got one ready in here. So this is a crimper tool. Different sizes, four gauge, six gauge, one eye, You move it, gauge. and so you have different sizes. And now, and you crimp it in other two positions, no? Okay. Now the cable is professional, no metal in between. You pass the heat stream. So when you heat, if you put the heat one side, you're gonna burn it. So when you're heating, you're going like this. Like you're doing a rotisserie chicken. It's like a cook show now. <laughs> <laughs> Too much chicken. <laughs> okay. Guys, you remember a couple of minutes ago when, when I demonstrate how to introduce the terminal, be careful, no exposed metal in between the plastic and this. Some people say, I, I have a little metal, I put a heat stream and I cover. Sooner or later, the heat stream is broken and you have exposed, exposed wires. And what happened here? Humidity and bye bye. This is a wrong connection. For that reason, when when I am the, the manager of the project, I move it, all the terminals and I demonstrate to my assistant, hey my friend, this is a professional terminal. In some cases, Danny and me in the project, we pull the cable. Hey, who crimped at this? Who bears? That's not good, okay? Be, be honest with you. Now, yeah, well, now we are going to crimp it with the hammer. Yeah. That one. Never want that one. Okay. That one just that cool. imagine imagine because you gotta hammer this. Imagine that guy's got like a hundred thousand dollars worth of teeth. And you go oh. hammer that on the teeth. Oh. Ah. Some people some people use that tool and put on the heat uh, on the heat exchanger of the diesel engine and uh. get a hammer. <laughs> no, no, I that's know. for real. True. This is the only thing you need. I got, I got a different version. Uh, I have other like this. The bigger they are, the more leverage yeah. you have. Tomorrow I bring that. Look at this. I am going to remove plastic. How much plastic? Exactly, exactly the distance that I needed. Ah, okay. Normally, normally. Okay. I cut it. Carefully, carefully. A little here, a little here. Some people prefer the knife, the blade. All right, use the knife. That's, okay, you cut it this one. Ready? You cut it this one, and now, you introduce the piece of heat string. Before, let me check if I have one. Yes, I have one, black color. I introduce the heat string. I twist it to avoid filaments outside, I introduce my terminal, my terminal is perfect, 
no exposed metal in between. Now I select, I, I have different holes here, according with the gauge of the wire. Okay, <laughs> we are going to use that one, yes. And Dr. Danny punch. We don't hit your finger. So <laughs> good. You twist it and you punch again. More. Like a man done. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you hit your finger. Okay, and now the heat string is too small. You put the heat string. And but before you put the heat string, you verify with your hand that is is perfect and no metal. Now you put the heat string. Bye bye bye. Pam pam. And finito. Professional connection. See so how right? much quicker it was with this. This is better. Yeah. Of course. That one. In some cases, you don't have a space to punch. No. You need one of these, smaller like than this, and other longer, because uh, in some cases the gauge of the wire is zero, one zeros, two zeros, three zeros. Big, big cable, yeah, no? All right, look at this, guys. Cream pe cables. Install the cable. It's, it's, it's an art. It's, you know, a, a nice boat when you open the, 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 the panel and you see the cables <laughs> organized. No? It's, and you see a uh, Mickey Mouse boat. Oh, wow. That's a spaghetti of cables. Yeah. Crossed yeah. one with the it's other yeah. one. Uh, that's important. That's not good. And a, a bad cable, loose cable, loose terminals, create a lot of problems. I remember some years ago, I installed a new generator in, in a Hatteras. And, uh, and uh, I say to my, my helper, hey, my friend, no, no marine helper. Helper. Can you install the battery? Yeah, Mr. Lopez. Ah. OK. The battery is ready? Yeah. I start the generator, and the generator starts. But uh, on Saturday, in Bimini, in Bahamas, the, the generator no start. And the customer comes to me. Yeah. When I visit the boat and I enter in the boat, I pull the cable, the terminal separated. That's frustrating. That's frustrating because I need to put my face. Yeah, it was my fault. You, Mr. Lopez, you can. Yeah. Now, that's frustrating. <coughs> be careful, be careful with the helpers. Use people certified. Use people that go to the school that you. No, he's a good guy. He's the son of my friend. <laughs> no, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a big problem. Hey, my friend, why other other Mickey Mouse helper put the battery wrong, connect the harness, and melt the computer? Okay, look. You have red color, blue color, and yellow color. Anybody follow me? The red ones are for gauge in between 18 and 22, the small wires. The blue ones for the, for cable cable gauge. You have that, one. that one. in the page 50 of the new version. In the previous version, in what page is that? Yeah. Okay. No problem. In both of them, you have the same information. Those are the terminals. Yellow, yellow for uh, cables 10 and 12 gauge, for uh, 14, 16, and uh, for 18, 20, 22. That's okay? Okay. I am going to explain the procedure to calculate the gauge of the wire in two different ways. With a formula, it's in my book, or with a table. The table is an, in the ABYC study guide later a uh, couple of weeks we are going to buy the study guide and we are going to, to start to prepare for the exam uh, of, uh, for electrical certification at the end of uh, advanced electricity. Everybody follow me? Okay. I love the formula because I memorized that formula and I can calculate the gauge of the wire easily in any part if I don't have the study guide. If I don't have the study guide with the tables, uh, with the formula you can calculate. You, you can use both of them. No? I am going to explain the formula right now, and after that, the table in the ABYC study. OK, this is the formula. The formula says that the area, the unit for the, 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 the gauge of the wire is circular mills. In my book, 
And in my videos, I explain what is the meaning of circular mirrors. But right now, we don't have time for that explanation. Sure. The unit for the gauge of the wire is circular mirrors. Okay. And the, 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 the formula says, the area of the, of the, of the, of the wire is equal to k, uh, k times i times the length divided by the voltage drop. What is the meaning of this? This is a constant. It's a constant, 10.75. 10.75, it's constant. What is the meaning of this? The amps, the amps, the amps, the consumption of amps. And this is the total length, the total length. That's okay? Yes. All right. Very bad. Yeah, Very bad. double. I'm going to explain. I have an example. And this is the voltage drop. The voltage drop is how you calculate the voltage drop. For example, the boat in this but for this example, it's a 12 volt volt. And uh, we are going to calculate the voltage drop for a bilge pump. How much should be the voltage drop for a bilge pump? 3% or 10%? 3%. 3%. Ah, it's 12 times 0 0.3. You remember? I want to calculate the 3%. 0 0.3 or 0 0.03? 0 0.03. 0 0.03. 0 0.03. 0 0.03. This is the voltage drop. That's okay? I want to, to get the 30% of this. I multiply times 0 0.3. I want to get the 5% of this. I multiply times 0 0.05. Right? This is mathematics, kindergarten. Okay, I have an example. Yeah, I, I don't like when the people, hey, professor, how are you divided? No, no, this is kindergarten. You go with Nadia and you register for algebra or mathematics second elementary grade. No, no here, because you are in the university. Okay. For example, I have a bilge pump, and the bilge pump suction 10 amps. The positive is 10 feet separated, separated from the panel. The panel is the breaker, the breaker. That's okay? The distance in between the breaker and the pump is how much? 10, Ten feet. And uh, uh, da, da, da. what is this? What is the the gauge of the wire? Ah, okay. The gauge for that wire is look is 10.75 times the intensity. How much is the intensity? Ten amps. And times the distance. How much is the distance? Ten in the positive and ten in the in the negative to return to the battery. No? Ah, it's twenty times 20, and divided by the voltage drop. How much is 12 times 0 0.03? 0 0.36. Excuse me? 0 0.36. 0 0.36. And uh, how much is that equation? The total? The total is 59.72. Ah, OK. In the next slide, in the next slide, I have, I have the value, look. 59.73 is in between this and this. Yes or no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, what gauge do you recommend? 10. 12. You see? Because it's pretty close to this one, not to this one. Sorry, you yeah, it's you pretty. The closest <laughs> yeah, the closest. The one Correct. You round it to the closer. Uh, it's 59. Down a, little. a little. That's the procedure. You need that table and you need this formula. Finito.